And he got the handoff, and there he goes. Wow. This is really one of those heartwarming moments in sports where you just... Oh! Oh, my God! That was just... That is not good. Maybe blooding new pitch invaders is what we need to do because <laughs> I can't get over the fact that once again we experienced someone's mate Jarvo. This is last this weekend. He was on the field for Japan and he was on the field the previous week for the All Blacks. JK, is this acceptable? Well, I think we should let them invade MMA next time and see what happens then. After seven days later at Aviva Stadium, it's just happened at, in Cardiff. Can the same individual, I mean, if this is any other sport in the world, Mills, his picture would be plastered everywhere. Going, There's only one guy that's not getting on the pitch today, and it's this guy. He must be getting help. Yeah, well, you, you think he, he is, obviously. He's just, he's just getting in there with ease. I mean, and what sort of, um, I suppose, what's happened? I mean, what's, what's, what's been his... What are they doing? How does he get, actually get in there? And what are the consequences for what he's done from the week before? Obviously none. frustrating is the way they've done it it's we've done it with done with ease they've basically just walked on there and the security guards sort of haven't even haven't even noticed uh, the way they've jumped over the hoardings where does world rugby then come into this jk in terms of sanctioning the host nation because it has happened in previous occasions whose responsibility is if this is football what would fifa do this guy made a tackle for crying out loud it was high too <laughs> it was over the ship. It was a seatbelt tackle. He did wear a boot there. 
I would that's, not want I mean, him tackling me naked. Suspended. Oh, I'm a man. Get man, Jeff. Get your man. Oh, wow. Yo, you tripping. They don't tackle them. They don't do nothing. Yeah, they don't do nothing here. They don't tackle them. Whoa, they, they dapping them up. Sports Sunday's official Javo 69 correspondent oh. and the <laughs> ultimate pitch invader has been at it again. Here he is last year uh, running onto an NFL game that was held in London uh, and he got picked up there. But he's got a habit of this, right? He's ran on to <laughs> cricket. Do you field. like Javo 69? Oh, look, do you know what? I have a grudging admiration for yeah, him. Here him. he is. Uh, <laughs> but this week he sort yeah. of got a bit of comeuppance. He's yeah. trying to trying to line up with oh, you. Oh, oh, wow. Rugby to you. Go home. I feel like it's a really bad thing that I like a man who's a pitch invader, but he's so creative. No, that he's an idiot. so unnecessary, oh, though. Like, no. That's, that's harsh. More on Jarvo. Oh, my goodness. Stomp him out. I, no. I love a, I love someone who sort of subverts a little bit. An Doing example of yeah, maybe street like, justice and I'm on board with it. Oh. Doesn't Alice. he get fined? Look at you following the rules. Yeah. What are you up for a contract renegotiation? Something dodgy going on there, because how does he get to that position on the side of the field in order for him to actually run on this? It's an inside job. He there needs to be an investigation. He was in, like, the media, the camera, the photo photographers. Man, I'm excited. He Sorry. was in a trench coat. He was in the photographer's area, so there's definitely an inside job there.